What's going on guys, it's your boy Chuck Avelli here. And as you can see, we're in a new space. For those who are new to the channel, then you probably don't know where I came from. Go check out some of the other videos, you'll see. But those who have been here, those are my subscribers, y'all are probably looking at like, ooh, he doesn't come up. And I wouldn't say all that, but we definitely are in a higher place and we've gotten to another level. And that's because of you guys, so I really appreciate it. So today, what we're going to be, to oh, and before we get into it, by the way, I, I like the white wall, but if you guys have any suggestions on how maybe I could spruce it up, like I'm a bit of a One Piece fan, I'm thinking like maybe I should hang like the hat or maybe the flag or I don't know, maybe get some LEDs in here and make it like a little bit more lively. I really couldn't tell you. I've never been that kind of guy, but that's besides the point. Let's just get right into the video. Which controller is better for PC gaming? Is it the Xbox Series XS controller or the PS5 DualSense controller. These are two controllers that, in general, are incredible controllers, especially for the next gen, but we're not going to focus on every single detail that makes these controllers different, right? Pricing, battery life, the look and feel of the controllers, no, 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 no. Everyone already knows pretty much those differences and what's going on here. The point of this video is which controller is better for PC gaming. So we're going to dive a little bit more deeply into what makes these controllers so different from each other and why the experience can be a lot different when it comes to PC gaming. Wait, hold on. No, come on. No, ah, no, come on. All right, so at first, at first we weren't going to talk about the other differences as mentioned, but then I thought to myself, it's just not a fair controller comparison if you don't really talk about all the things that come with it. So we're just gonna very quickly go over these things because they're not that deep and it's not that many, so I'm just gonna get into it. First and foremost, let's do some of the more preferential things. In my personal opinion, the Xbox controller feels better. Always has, I won't say always will because things do change, but it feels better. It felt better last generation, it felt better the generation before, and it feels better now. Some people like the new PlayStation 5 controller. Some people like it better than the um better than the old PlayStation controller and better than the Xbox controller as they currently are. And that's fair. I for me, it's more or less the same feel. I can't I you know, this is a this is a good controller. I like I like the feel of it. But I gotta go with my boy Xbox on this one. It does feel better. Now let's talk about battery life. Xbox still needs batteries. Go figure. It just, whether you're gonna buy the batteries or get rechargeable ones, it needs batteries. No rechargeable anything on the Xbox side, at least for the standard controllers. If you go to some of these other controllers that, you know, that make uh, that mod Xbox and things like that, like maybe a Scuf or an Xbox Elite Series, then you can get rechargeable, you know, built-in batteries. So all you have to do is plug it in, which is cool, but a lot of extra hassle. But Xbox battery life is longer than the PlayStation battery life. So that's something to keep in mind. PlayStation controller, rechargeable no batteries to see here rechargeable rechargeable controller and that's pretty much it it's very plug and play and you know me i love plug and play now it does depend on who you are me personally i don't really see any factual pro for why you would want a controller that needs batteries over a controller that can be charged at any given moment but i don't know everyone's a little different i guess i guess because it can run on batteries that makes the controller more independent right technically i mean if you go traveling you don't need a charging cable you don't need an outlet you just need three bucks and a pair of batteries right so again that's preferential right now pricing a playstation 5 controller will cost you 69.99 an xbox series xs controller will cost you 59.99 so you know it depends on what you want to buy, right? I mean, the PlayStation controller costs more, and it makes sense because there are so many more features. You get haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, a built-in speaker, and mic. You also get uh, what is called a gyro something, but basically you can control the, the game by just moving your um, controller. I forgot. Is it gy gyro? Ah, I forgot the name. But... 
you know, it also has the dual pad and all. It's just, it's just a lot of it's a lot of incredible features. Just a lot of incredible features. Truthfully, we're going to get into these features later on in the video and talk about what those features mean for PC gaming, though. Because remember, these features are really for PS5. So how does this translate to PS to PC gaming? You will see very soon. But the Xbox controller, not many new features. Really, none at all. Actually, it's it's pretty much the same as the last gen. So, I mean, I mean they added a share button. See that? It's nice. So now you could just share quickly. I don't know. And those are pretty much all the differences and comparisons between the two controllers. A lot of what I said was preferential. That's why I kind of wanted to just skip over it to begin with. But I came back because why not? But that's pretty much it. Now let's get into what the main differences are when it comes to this topic at hand, which is PC gaming. Now you can come back, Chuck. Uh. I literally can't even believe that I got pushed out like that. Are you crazy? Anyway, number one, and this is the majority of the conversation here native support xbox controllers have an incredible amount of pre-made support for pc gaming that the ps5 or any playstation controller for that matter can't even dream about xbox when you get an xbox controller you are immediately immediately introduced to a much more seamless gaming experience on the pc xbox is owned by window i mean Xbox is owned by Microsoft, which also owns Windows. So it's clear to see that they're going to com com communicate to each other at a faster, more seamless pace. So here's what happens. When you get an Xbox controller, you'll automatically have access to Xbox Game Bar, the Xbox Accessories app, and literally, I would... <laughs> I don't want to say 100% because there's always some PC game out there somewhere that, I don't know, they're not doing their job. But 99% of all PC games will natively support the Xbox controller. You won't have to stress. You plug your Xbox controller in or Bluetooth it, whatever, and you are up and running with this controller. Whereas with the PlayStation 5, listen, if you're a PlayStation 5 guy, and so am I, I like the PlayStation 5, you are going to find a lot of troubles when trying to get this bad boy connected to the PC. Like, we're not even talking about playing games yet. Just connecting this bad boy to the PC, you might find a few hiccups. Now me, thank God, things have been smooth, but I made a whole tutorial on how to do that, and people, to this day, are still asking me, hey, this isn't working, this isn't working, this isn't working, button mapping isn't correct, there's this, is that, it's a lot. In fact, one other thing about when you connect your PS5 controller to the PC, what you'll find is that a lot of video games, though they're letting you play the PlayStation 5 controller, the button layout on the game will still look like an Xbox controller layout. So as you can see here, this button right here is X, right? Let's say you're playing Call of Duty, or I don't know, let's just let's say that you're playing mm, Assassin's Creed. Let's say X is to jump, right? On the video game, it'll say A. On the video game, it'll say A. Let's say you wanna use press circle. On the video game, it'll say B. So even though you have your PlayStation 5 controller connected, it'll still look and feel, and the video game will still react to it as if it was an Xbox controller. And so for those people who have OCD or any type of, you know, if these things really bother you, you might be a little out of luck there. Another thing about the PlayStation 5 controller is that a lot of PC games, again, don't natively support it. So what you're going to have to do, you need an emulator like DS4 Windows, of which I did a great video on. But still, even when you go and get DS4 Windows, couple hiccups there, left, right. I've had to get on video calls with some of my subscribers just to try to figure out what, what is going on. And it's not, like, I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you. Sometimes, even with, even with a software as powerful, as good as DS4 Windows, you find that it, it might depend on your own PC, how you have it set up. It might depend on the kind of controller that you had. Even though PS5 controllers are pretty much the same all across the board, and they're all very durable, 
who really knows what's going on on the inside software wise it might also depend on um the type of ds4 windows software that you download maybe you should have downloaded a different version all these different things it just gets very swifty but the xbox you never got to worry about anything like that so that's probably the biggest difference here but now let's get into another part of this conversation that is also very worth mentioning so when people talk about the playstation 5 controller first thing they think about is the features the features man haptic feedback adaptive triggers a mic speaker all these different things it yeah it's a it's a, it's a power pack it's a power punch of a of a controller for sure only problem is that most of these features are only going to work on PlayStation 5. You try to bring this controller to PC, it's like it's you might as well just be playing an Xbox controller. Like, again, as you can see, the Xbox controller is actually almost like a cut and paste copy of the Xbox One controller. Like, copy and paste. But, at the end of the day, at least all the features work. You get the PlayStation 5 controller, you're spending a 10 extra dollars to get a bunch of features that's not going to work on PC. If you get it for PlayStation 5, perfect. You're in you're in good condition. But if you get it for PC, uh, there's no real point. Half of these half of these things ain't going to matter. Not said half. More like 100% of these features aren't even going to matter. It will just feel like you're playing a good controller. Whereas this one, you might as well save 10 extra dollars, get this bad boy and everything is good. Same, 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 easy peasy lemon squeezy and those are the main differences between the playstation 5 controller and the xbox series xs controller when it comes to pc gaming so now to answer the question which controller is better for pc gaming well the answer is the xbox series xs controller and not for any preferential or opinionated reasons but because of actual fact this controller is meant to be better for pc gaming than any other controller on the market not the nintendo not the playstation not any other gamepad out there now i understand this controller has a lot of features it might look nicer it might even feel better or all these different. i get it which makes it a great controller for the ps5 that's what it was made to be for all the features all the things that it can do is meant for the playstation 5 Yes, if you work hard enough and you really understand all these different softwares and all these techs and you really want to use all these features on PC, then you can and go ahead, be my, be my guest, right? But this controller is already pre-built, pre-softwared for PC gaming. That's it. There's nothing else that you can do about it. And so that is the actual answer to this. Some people may disagree. Some people may have their own opinions. Some people, some people may even have some legit arguments that I would love to hear down in the comments below. But that's what I have to say. Please let me know down in the comments. Did I miss anything? Is there anything else that I could have said? Because I definitely want to know. What do you think? What are your thoughts on this? And could I have done any better? Also, like I asked before, how do you like the setup? I think it's cool. I think it's clean. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how. It's funny because like gives unbox therapy vibes and I do have some new items that I will be unboxing so that's gonna be pretty cool but I mean hey like you start somewhere and we here and you're here with me and I appreciate it so remember to like the video comment enjoy the rest of your day Chagavelli got a lot of love for you man peace